Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on Azure Site to Site VPN. In my previous video, what we have seen, we built a tunnel which was route based tunnel which we added between our VPN gateway and a router which is running on GNS3. And with the help of a static route, we allowed our traffic to be passed over the tunnel what we created. So we were able to ping from this subnet or maybe the IP address, the private IP address, which is configured on VPN gateway, we were able to ping it from this router. Now what we are going to do, we will remove that particular static route and turn on the BGP so that we don't need to keep adding those static routes. Let's take a look on the router, what we have configuration as of now. So this is the same route what you can see we added from the template configuration and let's try to bring the resources. So we had two subnets and this time I'm going to ping 1.4 which is going to be the private IP configured on VPN gateway and that works. So in exercise, what we are going to do, we will remove this route. And while removing this route, we should not be able to ping that particular IP anymore. And that is the case. So now let's go back to Azure console and turn on BGP and then we'll test it again. However, we need to make some more configuration here. So as of now, if you see, I do not have any BGP configuration as well. This is my Azure console and we'll start BGP configuration. It starts with gateway first. So click on the gateway go to the configuration let it load it first now we will go to the configuration and under the configuration we need to configure BGP this is going to be automatically popped up and what we need to do we just need to save it and this is going to be the BGP peer IP address, which we are going to configure on the remote end. So let's just save it. It might take a couple of seconds. So this is the configuration on Azure side. So this is going to be the ASN and this is going to be the peer IP address. But I'm still updating it. And once this is updated, we will go back to the local gateway. There also we need it on on the BGP. sometimes it's a little slow so let me pause this video and come back once this, this is done now we can see the configuration BGP option is enabled and let's go back to the local gateway and turn on the BGP there as well so this is the local gateway and go to the configuration and what you need to do you need to say yes and this time what we are going to do we need to mention what is going to be the remote ASN and what is going to be your BGP peer IP address. As per our network topology, my A remote ASN is going to be 65516 and peer is going to be a IP address from 
a subnet the LAN subnet what we have mentioned so I'm going to give it an IP 192.168.10.1 and let's save it this will again take time so let me pause it and come back once this deployment is completed this deployment on the local gateway is also completed and the last piece where you need to turn on the BGP is going to be your connection so let's and you can modify connection from local gateway or you can go to the VPN gateway and from there you can do it so this time we will do it from the local gateway I see today this is responding little slow anyways this got open so we'll go to the connection and under the VPN connection go to the configuration and in configuration turn on BGP and save it Azure site deployment is fully completed and now it's time to turn on BGP on GNSI router so let's do that ASN number was 15 on your remote and no 16 on the remote which we are going to configure here and 15 is on Azure side we need to mention the neighbor a neighbor is going to be the private IP address on gateway which is 254 we need to mention remote AS and remote AS is going to be 5 We are building a configuration which is going to be sourced from loopback zero where you have your LAN side IP address configured. So this is going to be the loopback zero. And you also need to enable multi-hop because this is not directly connected neighbor. So I'm going to put it to and then let's verify BGP status is idle and the reason behind if you recall it this was the route we were putting to reach any resources on Azure side now what we need to do we need to modify a little bit and that modification is going to be we should have at least a reachability to this private IP address IP route and that private IP address is 10.0.1.254 and let's make it slash 32 and it's going to be tunnel 11 and we can see immediately the PGP has come up now we can basically ping the remote IP address which works and let's verify the BGP table and the route received from remote on Azure console let's verify from Azure console how the BGP table looks like so we'll go to the BGP peers It should take a couple of seconds to get the route table populated and now we can see the peer IP address is 10.1 and the local is 1.254 uh, I haven't received any route yet and the reason behind I have not advertised anything into the BGP on our Cisco router so let's do that first and then verify this again we will get into the BGP and before that let's verify the BGP configuration what we have and we are going to use this network
We'll save it and let's see what we are advertising to our remote and what we are receiving from the remote. My neighbor IP address is 10.01. And let's see advertise route. So now we are advertising this route which should be visible on portal. And same time, let's see what we have in routing table. In the routing table, we have slash 16, the whole range, which is a part of the VNet. And when we were trying to ping that IP address, which is sourced from loopback, and since loopback is there in the routing table, hence we were able to ping it, other IPs won't work. But this time, since we are advertising the whole subnet, everything should be good. So let's now go back to the portal and see the BGP table. Let's try to refresh. And now we can see there is one route which we have received and that is coming from our peer which is 10.1 and that route is this one and that is exactly the subnet which we advertise from the router and it's coming from EVGP and the AS path is 65516 and that is it for this lab and in next lab we will turn on gateway into active active mode. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next section.